And at first, definitely, uh, because it's Ronim, so I was really sad that she wasn't going to be around. So it, it was very different, actually, and uh, it wasn't as, as expected. When you become world number one, you think you're going to be there celebrating and saying yes. And uh, But at the same time, I didn't have the pressure maybe before a match, because sometimes, you know, when you go to a, to a certain match, you know, you know what, if, you wanna, if you're going to win this match, you're going to be world number one, so there is a certain pressure. Maybe maybe I didn't get this pressure, but at the same time I got the, to world number one. So it's it's different, but I'm I'm extremely happy with it, and uh, I just feel that it kept me balanced actually, not being too happy, but not being too sad as well, not to be able to to get the win or anything. And uh, it's not that I didn't earn it, but because uh, world number one is completely different than a title. A title, you get like, uh, you have put the effort right now and or over the week, and then you get like the, the awards right now. But world number one, that's why it's harder. I, in, my, in, my, in my opinion, it's harder because uh, it's, it's a work that is done throughout the whole year and maybe years, not only one year and to get like the motivation every day because you know it's a long process and you won't earn it like right away so sometimes you like all other players you get very demotivated and you're not happy and everything but the mental strength is how to, to just try and just think that the, 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 the ultimate goal is to become world number one so i think it's it's a longer process so it's it's more tiring and uh, and that's why i think my happiness wasn't really taken away like uh, any other player that won a big tournament because of her retirement. Because I knew that, yeah, maybe uh, this place to jump from number two to number one, I didn't earn it in a way by winning a certain tournament or uh, getting gaining some points. But to be in this place, I've done a lot of things to, to be able to be here. So I felt overwhelmed a little bit during that time. I felt so many feelings and they weren't in the same direction. It was like a little bit of sadness because I'm gonna miss Ronim, but at the same time, surprise, and then happiness, and then uh, extreme happiness because it's a dream. So yeah, it was like a roller coaster of emotions and uh, it took me some time like to to try and get back to the normal neuron <laughs> that was there before new <laughs> knowing the news actually. <laughs> But when I got back on court, definitely the first week I was really happy and I was really like uh, flying on court. I was uh, definitely I was very happy. Like world number one, something very big. But I think I, I I forgot about it very quickly. And for me, that that was good actually, not to get uh, because when you think about it too much, as you're saying, you put so much pressure on yourself, was unconsciously you put so much pressure on yourself. So whether being world number one, world number ten, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just here, uh, enjoying it, uh, giving it all and uh, having the pyramids behind me. <laughs>